Thanks for clicking on this Inland Sports video. If you're a local business or an organization and you'd like to promote here on the Inland Sports Show, just send us an email, inlandsportsshow at gmail.com. And now join us here on the Inland Sports Show. He is a household name by now. If you saw that steal and the dunk to clinch the CIF title, it was all over social media. It is the one and only Aaron McBride from Centennial High School. And Aaron, CIF Southern Section Open Division champions three years in a row. Man, how amazing was it to not only just you know win the section title, but to do it that dramatically. I mean, with a steal and a dunk at the horn, at the buzzer. <laughs> I mean, it feels amazing, you know, being able to win those games, you know, especially with my guys that I've been with for so long. It feels great. Now, uh, the last part about getting that nice dunk, I mean, it's nice. You know, it's not every day that you get one of those, but we always appreciate our higher point wins like 10, 20. But, you know, we make it work in close games. You know, basketball is, is such a funny game. One moment you're thinking, OK, we just need to get a stop here. Bosco's got the ball. We need to get a stop, you know, keep this game tied or maybe get the ball back. And then you just are like, you know, I'm just going to take matters into my own hands right now. We're going to end this thing right now with the steal and the dunk. Like as it happened or maybe just moments after, you're, you know, you're laying there on the floor. Could you process exactly just what happened so quickly? Uh, it really was just that instinct at that point. You know, I've been playing basketball for so long. It feels more like I only realized really like after the game what I'd really done. Like the tip in that moment, you're kind of just running. You're not really thinking about what you're doing. And then you pretty much attack the basket, not looking at the clock, not looking at the score. You just go. So, Aaron, now you, you guys gear up for a CIF state championship run. And obviously you guys are probably feeling pretty good after winning that open division title in the southern section. But as good as you guys have been, do you feel like you can even maybe be better, you know, going into the state playoffs now? We can always be better. There's a lot of things we did that game that wasn't perfect. You know, we had a lot of turnovers, too. We uh, didn't get to the boards as well as we could have. So that's what we're really working on. We're working on not turning over the ball, getting to the boards, being able to execute our stuff, being able to pressure on defense. Pretty much all the same stuff we work on every day. Just keep working at it. Aaron, how good did that CIF Southern Section Championship feel? I know, you know, Centennial's won two previously. This is the third in a row. But, you know, we had Coach Giles on the show before the season began. And he's like, you know, my my biggest thing with these guys is just not letting them get complacent, like getting them motivated, getting them hungry to do it all over again. Um, Did this one, this championship this year, did it feel different? Did it mean more to you? It means a lot more, especially being your senior year, because, you know, as a freshman, sophomore, junior, you're like, okay, there's always another chance, right? Senior year, you don't have another chance. So you really want to go out with a bang, you know, kind of put yourself out there as your final hurrah in your high school career. All right, Aaron. So uh, as we look ahead to the state playoffs now, what do you think you guys need to do well to, you know, string together a couple wins in a row and find yourself back in a, a state title game? We just need to be Centennial. We always have been, you know, keeping up the pressure, being able to attack the basket, being able to pressure all the way up the court, rebounds, you know, same thing that we do every game. I mean, some days we slip up, but that's why we keep practicing, so we can keep it back up. All right, Aaron, be honest. How many times have you watched that highlight of the steal and the dunk? Has it just been on replay? (laughs) I mean, like, at this point, (laughs) I've seen it probably over, like, 50 times at this rate. Like, because every time I scroll somewhere, it's, like, just there. And then all my friends are showing me it, and they, like, got different angles. It's pretty much everywhere I've been looking for, like, the past two days. That, yeah, like, what was school like on, on Monday? You guys come back, are you just walking around campus at Centennial, and everyone's running up with their phone. Hey, look, I saw you. Or, you know, <laughs> check out this yeah, highlight. Pretty much all the kids that were there really just did that exact same thing, you know, <laughs> especially all congratulating me, obvious, on the team win. Hearing over the speaker system, you know, pretty much just congratulations all around seeing the clip over and over again. They showed me where my foot was when I jumped out, which time it is. Was that, uh, is it safe to say that was the biggest play in your centennial career or the, you know, the, the one that you might remember the most when your high school career is all said and done? Probably. I'm like, there's really nothing else that can top that. I mean, even if there was like another like game winning shot, it's not really for a championship, especially not your CIF championship, especially not during your final year. So it's like, it's really hard to top that. Really hard. 
Yeah, it's like the perfect storm. Like you said, open division championship game. You're playing in a big arena. You're a senior. Like it was the perfect scenario. This is like what kids dream of, you know, like when they're in their driveway playing basketball with the game on the line and you make the biggest play, you win the championship. Like, I mean, did you did you have dreams like that when you were a little kid? Did it play out like this? I didn't really have dreams of this as a little kid because when I was playing basketball when I was growing up, uh, I loved it, but I was more or less not thinking of dunking all the time. I was more like attacking the basket kind of shooter. Even though I was tall, that's probably because my dad likes having me attack the basket more, not necessarily um, being a dunker, especially when I was a young kid. I did a lot more uh, watching of younger kids, I'd say, so I wasn't really aware how dunks were on the NBA circuit and stuff like that. All right, Aaron, final question. You know, going back to that play, I think I saw in another interview, you, you kind of tipped off. You kind of knew what, what Bosco might want to do there. So were you looking for that pass to kind of jump the route, if I could use a football term, jump that route and, you know, come up with the, uh, the pick there, the steal? Yeah, I was really just kind of searching for it, especially like near the end there when he started turning around. He started looking like he was panicking a little bit, like he wanted to throw it somewhere or like just jack up a shot. So I was ready to get the rebound or tip the ball try to get a steal, more or less be on the catch if the guy caught the ball and tried to shoot it. But I ended up having to tip the ball, and so I just went from there. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, just for a championship game, and you're a senior and all that, man. It was just the the coolest thing. It was like a Hollywood script that played out um, on Saturday night at the Honda Center. Aaron, congratulations on the CIF Southern Section Open Division title. I know you guys are still making a state title run here. Big shout-out to Coach Giles. He's my guy. I appreciate him hooking this up. And, uh, Aaron, best of luck in the state title run. Thank you again. You got it. That's Aaron McBride from Centennial High School. You already know because you've seen him all over Twitter and Instagram and all those other places. Uh, he's an open division champion for the third consecutive season. Inland sports.